How to QB Playing quarterback is about leading your team. This requires patience and the ability to communicate what you need from them to succeed. It doesn't matter if you play in first or third person or with shift lock. Your job is to find the best option to receive, complete the pass, and avoid getting sacked. This receiver was wide open, but stopped made route. Instead of blaming them, I simply say, keep going. On the next play, the receiver is open again, but this time keeps going. They're rewarded with a touchdown pass. Complimenting your receivers when they make a good play is important. Many players in this game are toxic, and if you want to lead your team to victory, you have to rise above that. Quarterbacks control the game. I often hand off or run to force a defender to rush. This allows my receivers to have one less defender on them, giving them more room to get open. In this game, the defense knows that I can run, so watch what happens when I fake a run. Two of the defenders come up to rush, leaving their receiver behind. I notice this and give the receiver a little bit of time to get space. Then, it's an easy pass. I prefer to start my power at 85. I go up to 90 for longer range and 95 if it's the full field. I throw at 80 for a short pass. When I join a game, I usually say these rules. Go to space, not DBs. If you're wide, don't cut. If you're not wide, cut. Good catch, good route, Zismay. I mostly start in third person so I can read the coverage. Once I find my open receiver, I go to first person to throw. This is how I prefer to play, and it works for me. Do whatever is easiest for you to make the play. Because I like to hand off, I open up the possibility for a play action, seen here. I fake the handoff, which makes the DB come forward, giving my receiver a solid burn. I overthrew it, but the receiver saved it. Go to practice mode and throw passes on the run. Keep practicing until your accuracy is where it needs to be. Sometimes, you'll be put under pressure. Maybe even by me. Throwing the ball away is a thousand times better than throwing an interception. Even if it's third down, there's no shame in punting the ball and then telling your receivers to cut sooner because you're being rushed. I force a deep pass and happen to throw it perfectly. These receivers are not burning and it's a risky pass. Tell them to get more separation next time. Follow for part two.